What brings you such a long way? We are to deliver Her Grace the Duchess's message in full, with all due ceremony. For tradition... Is sacred in Toussaint. All right, fine. Most honorable Geralt, slayer of monsters and all Ifels nefarious, which prey on the defenseless of this world. Where else never have you been known to deny help to the innocent, nor leave widows and orphans to fates undeserved. Answer you now our present summons. Free us from the beast which floods our streets with blood, and sows panic in the hearts of rich and poor alike. Come to our aid, Witcher. Thus humbly beseeches you the star-crossed city's most gracious protectress, her illustrious highness, Duchess Anna Henrietta. Shall you answer her call? Might be the most fervent request that I take a contract ever, and the most polite. And now we've got all that behind us. I want to hear more about this beast. Some kind of monster? Just guessing. Most assuredly, though no one has caught a good look at it as yet, our only sure witnesses, the bodies massacred in a brutal, horrid manner. Look, some sketches drafted from descriptions given by those who claim they glimpsed the beast. Each quite different. To my mind, these witnesses lie. How many victims so far? Two. When Her Grace learnt of the second, she discharged us immediately to fetch you, promising grants of land and fortunes in gold, should you answer her summons. An ill wind blows, Geralt. The beast cannot be tracked. Folks say it wields black magic. Also, both victims were nobly born, and the start of a tourney draws near. Uh, I sometimes think back to all the contracts I've ever taken from Sovereigns. Can't name hardly any where I came out ahead. You cannot be thinking to refuse. Ah, <sighs> no. Just struck by a thought. How the Duchess can sometimes be... Hmm, demanding. So you accept the contract? Excellent! We must set off at once. We long wanted this land searching for you. Yet time is of the essence. Ready to go, soon as you're packed. Ha! Ah, then post haste to Toussaint. To Toussaint! Toussaint, the land of love and life. Exactly how I remembered it. You will find Beauclair has changed some these past years. Walk about when you have the chance. You will see for yourself. To me, place always seemed straight out of a fairy tale. Knights errant, elven palaces. You insinuate that we are somehow odd? 
I shall prove you wrong. This I pledge on the heron. Big beast. Tackling it single-handed? None too wise. Neither is love born of wisdom, Witcher. So, Guillaume, out with it. Which fair damsel inspired you to vow to kill that filth? The most beautiful among them. If he wishes to guard her name a secret, he need not reveal it. You I do not know, sir, nor seem you a knight, yet still I am profoundly grateful, nay, indebted to you for your succor. This trophy, sir, is yours. I'll take the trophy. Why not? Could find someone who'll pay to buy it. Put up a good fight against the giant. Got experience battling monsters? None. In Tucson we mostly chase bandits. But I vowed I'd bring my heart's champion the head of a monstrosity. As the famed Gottfried, known as the Giant Killer, did. You don't mean to hunt the beast, I hope. The matter's best left to Geralt. Another challenge awaits me. Yet if Geralt is to hunt the beast, he ought to know. It struck again. The river surrendered a corpse. It washed up in the meander by the cockatrice. Damien de la Tour's guardsmen are there already, securing the area. Securing the area? Better go there now before they trample any tracks, manhandle any evidence. Set forth, then. I shall ride for the city to inform her gracious magnificence that Geralt has arrived. We'll meet later, near Guillaume's tent at the Tourney grounds. I shall take you then to see her grace. Parmenin oversaw his upbringing. Guillaume is his kid. Can't get used to the way you knights talk, especially how you switch back and forth between flowery and, well, near normal. We are knights errant the service of her gracious magnificence. When we appear in her name or speak on her behalf, we are bound by tradition. No one here. They must have removed the body already. Let's look around. Make sure they didn't miss anything. Anything taken by the current ends up in these shallows. Yes, the stench is fierce. We've got guests. Careful.
than you are! Or my name is not Milton the Pirate Man! I like that silver. Drawn here by the smell of blood. Let's keep looking. The gods protect her illustrious place. Hobnailed boots, multiple sets of prints. Ducal guard, clearly. Let's see where they went. Walked along the shoreline. Perhaps the body lay on the bank. Blood. Guardsmen pulled these nets out of the water, then cut the mutilated body free. Only blood-soaked scraps left of the victim's clothing. Good quality cloth. A wealthy victim, correct? Looks it. Look, a boat was launched here. Guardsmen must have loaded the body parts onto it, taken them somewhere. Need to find out where. I'd like to look at the corpse before it starts to decompose. The inn. Its patrons must have seen the guardsmen, which direction they took. We should ask there. Seems we've got ourselves an audience. You think this surprising? The locals will tell the children of children they do not have yet, of the day a quartered corpse was pulled from the river. One thing. Found a handkerchief in the water. Monogrammed DLC. Mean anything to you? Delacroix? It cannot be. Was it he the beast slew? Seems so. Knew him well? Long past. We were close friends once, but our paths diverged. He was a man of extremes, standing by his companions, no matter the odds, fighting his foes to the bitter end. Foes? He have a lot of them? He did. But I do not see what that has to do with the beast. Ah, Geralt, you've struck a raw nerve. Memories of a time long past, to which I'd rather not return now. I understand. We can talk later. Let's go to the tavern. I shall have to leave you soon. Return to court. Barely got back to Tucson. A knight in the service of her illustrious highness knows no rest. Beaver, book of me. They say her grace is 
old insult, tell to the beast. Killer from the north, they say. But with no lads brave enough? Of course we have. But bravery is not enough against the beast. We use dark powers. So that calls for a witcher. By my troth, could that be the musty scent of fresh pate? Naught else, Sir de Peyrac Peyrac. I see time has not dulled your senses. We would be honored if you would join us. Uh, your companion as well. But why do I not detect even a whiff of crayfish chowder? No soup today, on account of there being no crayfish. I reckon you've not heard, but all I caught was a corpse. I awoke at the crack of dawn, as I do each day, but when I looked up, I beheld a blood-red sky. This corpse is precisely why we're here. For the man whom you've invited to join you at the table was summoned from a far-off land by her gracious magnificence. He is tasked with tracking and killing the beast. We invited two men to join us, yet since Sir de Peyrac Peyron in temperament is more akin to hare than hound, I surmise the other is the hunter. With whom do we have the pleasure? Name's Geralt. A humble introduction. You've clearly not tarried long with Sir de Peyrac Peyron. Spare us the petty insults. Geralt is a master of the witchering trade. He has questions concerning the beast's last victim. I was the one to find the corpse. The sun had just risen when I awoke, sat straight up in my bed, looked out the window, and beheld a sky red as blood. Ask Geralt, please, or we shall be here till winter. Need to examine the body. Know where they took it? They ferried it across, then loaded it on a cart and hauled it to a cellar at Corfo Bianco to keep it cool, see? What? Why, Corfo Bianco is Baron Russell's estate. When he learns they've turned his cellar into a morgue, he'll set his hounds on them. While you were gallivanting about the north, his vineyard was auctioned off. Who was that? Woman who just left. Didn't see her before. Didn't notice her walk in, either. Doubtless Ninnis, the innkeep's daughter. But hold, Geralt, because this is an outrage. Rossell's vineyard was auctioned off? Inconceivable! It is no secret the Baron had gambling debts up to his ears. It finally came time to collect. His creditors auctioned off his property. The Ducal Chancellery bought it, in fact. Rossell now bunks with his brother in Vicofaro. I told Russell he'd get his comeuppance. How long can one draw on past heroics? His creditors must finally have defined that his promises meant nothing. Such are the times. Today's knights are pale shadows of the heroes of yore. It's true what they say. God sent the beast to punish us for straying from the old paths. Thanks for the hospitality. Time I examined the corpse. Corvo Bianco lies a short way from here, near the tawny grounds. Just follow the road and you'll arrive. Not coming with? Oh yeah, duty of some sort calls. Some sort? <laughs> Her grace bestowed a great honor on me, even before we departed for Velen. I'm to play the hare during this year's game in the palace gardens. When you see me in my costume, you will wet yourself laughing. A little tempted to ask a few questions, but it sounds like a long, complicated story. One involving lengthy digressions into local history and tradition. So, see you later, Milton, and good luck. Brings peace to our domains. Flout its writ, brought in chains. 
Sounds like a fight. Have to hurry. Damn it. Killer must still be here. In the cellar. Gotta be. Footprints. Small bare feet. Lead deeper into the cellar. Hurled against the wall with great force. Took a lot of strength to batter this down. You. Saw you at the inn. Why'd you kill these people? Clearly wasn't for their blood. We don't have to fight. You are wrong. I cannot let you leave. <laughs> 